Hello, this is Matt's Amazing Mazes, and today we're talking about humanity's search for the only one true God. Now, the search for the only one true God is compared to a maze. See, there's obstacles you have to be considered with. Obstacles that is a real good cha challenge to outwit, outmaneuver, and, um, and overcome. Kind of like a maze. Let's say that your search for God is at the start of the maze. And at the finish of the maze is the only one true God. Where you go into the maze, it's like going into a broad and spacious road that branches off to other roads that leads to dead ends. But in within the, the maze itself, there's only one solution that you can go into by solving the maze and that solution would be the narrow gate that's cramped that's leading off into life and you have to it's like a puzzle when you try to find that cramped road that leads into life kind of like solving a maze And let me read this one scripture that that clarifies it of what I just said of all the um, illustrations I have said. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 it says, Go in through the narrow gate because broad is the gate and spacious is the road leading off into destruction. And many are going in through it. Verse 14. Whereas narrow is the gate. And cramped the road leading off into life. And few are finding it. So that. that, that so that. that so that broad and spacious road leading off into destruction is your dealings de dealings with Satan Th that's your dealings with, with Satan when you go off into the broad and spacious road you're leading off into the the um, personality trait or the the lifestyle of Satan because the broad and spacious road that leads into destruction is the world and who is the God of this world or the God it says here in second Corinthians Chapter 4, verse 4. 2 Corinthians chap chapter 4, verse 4 says, Among whom the God of this system of things, or the God of this world, has blinded the minds of the unbelievers, so that the illumination of the glorious good news about the Christ, who is the image of God, might not shine through. So the God of this world 
who has these negative traits, like blotting the minds of the unbelievers, is the works of Satan the devil. And, um, it's, and he wants to lead you into traps, into dead ends, which is a broad and spacious road that leads into his world that he is ruling. But, um, but there's a way out of it, because how, how do you get out of the, the broad and spacious road? Well, this is how you get, actually, this is how you get into this, the broad and spacious road that leads into destruction. Because it's found in, in 2 Timothy Second Timothy chapter three verse one says, "But know this, that in the last days critical times hard to deal with will be here." And if you drop down to verse seven, always learning and yet never able to come to an accurate knowledge of truth. See, people is ever learning about secular knowledge about secular information, wor worldly information, and they're always learning it, going to college, higher education, they're always learning, but they're, not, but they're never coming to know the accurate knowledge of truth. They're not opening up their Bibles and reading it. And that's how they are, are, are entering entering the broad and spacious road that leads into destruction it's because they're always ever learning but never coming to an accurate knowledge of of truth the, 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 the occupied with satan's or the or the god of of this world the occupied with it the the the, the, the in the in the distracted about ever learning the accurate knowledge of truth, but this is how you can enter the the the, the road that's cramped, leading into life. If you want to find that narrow gate that's cramped, leading into life, this is how you do it. Because if you go down, if you if you open your book Bible to the book of Psalms, the very beginning of Psalms, the very first chapter of Psalms, And read Psalms chapter 1, verse 2, which says, But his delight is in the law of Jehovah, and he reads his law in an undertone day and night. He will be like a tree planted by st streams of water, a tree that produces fruit in its season, the foliage of which does not wither, and everything he does will succeed. Now, now that's how you can in, in, enter the road that's cramped leading off into life. Because the road that's cramped leading off into life is your personal relationship with the only one true God. See, it's, it's, not, a distant, it's, it's not a destination to a place. 
but a destination to the relationship with your relationship, personal relationship with the only one true God. That's what the, the road that's leading off into life is. Because your your own personal relationship with the only one true God will keep you safe. It'll keep you eternal. So if you if you drop down, if you go to Second Timothy chapter three, which read, but know this that in the last days critical times hard to deal with will be here. Verse seven can be considered the broad and spacious road that leads into destruction, which reads in, reads in verse seven, always learning and yet never able to come to an accurate knowledge of truth. But if you go down to verse 14 in the same chapter of the last days that talks about the last days, verse 14, verse 14 is actually considering cramp is the road that leads into life and few are the ones finding it. And verse 14 reads, You, however, continue in the things that you learn and were persuaded to believe, knowing that from... You learn them, learning from whom you learn them, and that from infancy you have known the holy writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. So, when you learn and read about the Bible, it, it, it brings salvation, which is the cramp is the road leading into life and few are the ones finding it. So I, I hope this can help you search, searching for the only one true God. Now how about this? A question I want to leave you before I go. How does God feel about those who sincerely seek Him? How does He feel about those who sincerely sincerely seek Him? Well, the answer is in First Peter chapter five, verse six and seven. So, First Peter chapter five, verse six and seven. Verse 6 says, Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Verse 7, While you throw all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. See, God cares about those who sincerely seek him. He cares. He even cares so much that he will absorb all your anxiety away from you. That is, if you were to ask him in prayer. So, I hope this helps a lot of people searching for the truth about God. So, the, the main key points that I'm going to do a summary of what I just all said about this video. Number one summary main point is to how do you avoid the broad and spacious road that leads into destruction? Do not focus so much on secular information or knowledge because it's out there to distract you from the main source of knowledge which is, which is the bible that's how you can that that's how you lead yourself into destruction like philosophy um man's man, man's knowledge like like human wisdom and stuff like that all that is is is, is trash you know burn it all it's, it's no good. 
but the main information that that is true is God's word, the Holy Bible. So how do you go into the road that's cramped in that's that's the the, the cramped road that's leading off into life, and few are the ones finding it. How do you go to pursue that course of action? Well, you read the Holy Bible on in in an undertone day and night. You try to get a grasp of it, and you and you and, and, and you sincerely focus on everything that has to do about the Bible, the Holy Bible, and, and make an effort about it too. Do a lot of prayer about it because it's there to guide you to your personal relationship with God, and that's what the that that road leading off into life and few are the ones finding it really means is your relationship with with the only one true God your personal relationship so that that's the the main points of the summary that I have said so I'll let you go with with that and Matt's amazing maze is signing off I hope this information helps you to search for the only one true God take care peace and happiness. Bye-bye.